What's up YouTube, I'm Jack, and you're watching the Tropical Fish Care Guide's YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing fish tank heaters. We'll discuss essential questions like, how to heat fish tanks quickly, how long it takes aquarium heaters to heat some of the most popular fish tank sizes, the best ways to place your heater and more. So watch the full video, because we will also tell you the best beginner-friendly heaters you can use in your next aquarium. So let's get into the video and start answering these questions. The first question we get often is, how long does it take for a heater to warm up? The short and simple answer is it takes 20 to 40 minutes, on average, depending on the heater. That said, it can take aquariums of various sizes more or less time to warm up. However, before your heater can warm up the water in your aquarium, the heater itself needs to warm up. Here is a list of heater sizes, along with how long each one takes to heat up for your convenience. A 10 to 25 watt heater needs around 40 minutes to fully heat up. It takes a 25 to 75 watt heater around 90 minutes to warm up fully. Here are some other heater types and their timing for heating aquariums. Once the heater is warmed up, it will heat your aquarium. So let's move to the next question. How long does it take for an aquarium to warm up completely? On average, it takes 24 hours for the water in an aquarium to warm up thoroughly. However, each aquarium can heat up faster or longer depending on the size and whether or not you have more than one heater. The timelines listed on the screen reflect average heating times based on one heater installed in the aquarium and sized according to standard practices. You can use these timelines to get a general sense of how long an aquarium heater takes to warm up a particular tank. These statistics depend on the initial water temperature, which might vary according to the climate and region you reside in but they can give you an estimate of how long heaters will take to heat a tank. If you want to heat your aquarium faster, use a heater with a high watt rating or install two heaters. Now let's move to our next question. Why do you need to heat your aquarium? Most tropical fish need heat to survive. A heater keeps your tank from getting too cold and maintains a constant temperature throughout the day and night. 78 degrees Fahrenheit is the perfect temperature for most tropical fish. But do your research first. Maintaining a consistent temperature for your fish helps reduce stress and promotes healthy fish. Your tropical fish's body temperature directly depends on the temperature of the water they are in. Unlike humans and other mammals, fish do not have the luxury of producing their body heat. As a result, lower temperatures can be problematic to aquatic life in your aquarium. That's why we need heaters to make an artificial environment where they live comfortably. One more popular question is where should you place your heater for optimal heating? To ensure uniform heating, place your heater near a filter inlet, outlet, or circulation pump to ensure even heat distribution. It would be best if you also tried to install your heater horizontally close to the tank bottom. This is because warm water rises to the top. That said, you can also place your heaters vertically. However, installing your heater vertically will drastically slow the spread of warm water to different tank areas. The main point you should know is that do not install a heater vertically at the sides away from filter intakes. This could cause uneven heating as well as cold spots in your aquarium. Now let's move to our last question on the list. Which heater will heat your fish tank quickly? The size of the aquarium that the heater is intended to heat is listed on the package when you purchase a new one. Choosing the proper heater is crucial to ensuring that it has adequate strength to quickly and consistently maintain the desired temperature in your aquarium. However, it is always best to select a heater designed for a tank slightly larger than the tank you have to avoid undersizing your heater. An undersized heater could cause issues with running too long, pockets of hot water, and heating times that exceed what was mentioned earlier. Here is a simple list that will help you choose which heater is best for your tank size. Our team tested and tried these stats. You can get an idea from here which heater size is best for your aquarium. For large aquariums, like 50 gallons and up, I recommend using multiple heaters to maintain water temperature. Always research the fish species you are keeping to understand the ideal temperature, food, and water requirements to ensure a safe, healthy environment. Invest in a good thermometer. Heat your tanks according to those requirements and enjoy watching your pet fish live happily in aquariums. To learn more about fish keeping tips and tricks, 
you can visit our official blog, tropicalfishcareguides.com, where we have created comprehensive guides, fish profiles, etc., to help beginners succeed in this hobby. You can also read more tips on heating fish tanks more efficiently on our official blog. So I will add both links in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to the Tropical Fish Care Guides channel, where we will help you with questions about fish in aquariums. Our objective is to make the aquarium hobby more accessible to beginners so that they can thrive. Thanks for watching this video.